In this video we're going to continue our proof that the beta distribution is actually conjugate to a binomial prior. And we're starting off where we left off before and we derived this expression for the joint distribution of x and theta. And we have this sort of nasty term here times what we sort of spoke about originally which is just this sort of part of something which looks a little bit like a beta distribution in itself. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to sort of forget about this first term, we're just going to call it gamma, little gamma, and we're going to have a look at the second term here. So just rewriting this whole thing now, we've just got that this is equal to gamma times theta to the power x plus a minus 1 times 1 minus theta to the power n plus b minus x minus 1. And then we note that this is very much like a beta distribution that has got a new sort of parameter a, which I'm going to call a primed, which is equal to x plus a, and it's got a new value of b, which is equal to, in this case, m plus b minus x. So, but for the sort of normalizing sort of expression which we have in front of it, it would actually be that particular beta distribution. But we can make it essentially equal to that beta distribution if we multiply it through by that normalizing constant. So if we just take our original sort of expression here, and then we realize that in order to make it exactly a beta distribution, we need to first multiply through by gamma of a primed plus b primed. Well, a primed plus b primed here is just going to be a plus b plus n divided through by gamma of the new a primed, which is just gamma of x plus a, times by the gamma of the new b primed, which is just gamma of n plus b minus x. And this whole expression times what we had before, which is theta to the power x plus a minus 1 times 1 minus theta to the power n plus b minus x minus 1. But remember that we can't just do this for free. Whatever we do, we sort of multiply through by this. We need to divide through by it in order to ensure that our expression remains as it did before. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take our gamma expression and we're going to multiply it through by the inverse of this expression, which we just multiplied through by, which is equivalent to dividing, of course. So we're going to take this and multiply it through by gamma of x plus a times gamma of n plus b minus x, all divided through by gamma of a plus b plus n. So now what we do is we actually integrate, because the beauty of this expression now is, because remember what we're trying to do is we're trying to get the marginal distribution of x, which we know is equal to the integral from 0 to 1 of the joint distribution of x and theta, when I integrate over choice of theta. So if you can just see here, I'm integrating from theta equals 0 to theta equals 1. And the beauty of integrating this expression is the only thing that depends on theta is, well, uh, technically this first part of the, the expression doesn't depend on it either, but the only real part that depends on it is this sort of theta term here. But notice that by integrating from 0 to 1, essentially what we're doing is we're integrating this whole first term here within our integral, is a beta distribution. It's just a beta distribution of a new value of a and a new value of b. And the beta distribution is a valid probability distribution. And when we integrate across all values of theta, this must integrate to 1. So this whole first term here gets sort of taken away, and we can just replace the whole thing with 1 here. So we've derived our marginal distribution of the data of x here. And it actually turns out that this thing actually has an expression, you know, when you actually expand gamma for this thing which we've got up here, this is what's known as a beta binomial distribution. But the important fact is that essentially we've got our denominator of our Bayes' rule, and in the next video we're going to put this all together to help us to derive the posterior density, which we hope is going to be a beta distribution.